Hi everyone, hey, this is Carol Hill. This is a video about the new Family Search Source Linker. And if you've used the Source Linker, um, I hope you like it. I really love the Source Linker on Family Search. And what it is, is just a way to attach records to individuals on Family Search, to your ancestors and even to your descendants. So let's go ahead. I have actually found this source for one of a uh, person that I've been working on. And when I when I pull up this source, I shows me over here that I can attach it to the family tree. So I'm going to go ahead and click on attach to family tree. And then now this, if those of you have used the source linker, this is actually the old source linker. And what you can do now, and, and I'm not sure whether you'll have this feature or not, but it should be coming. Up here in the top right, it says try the new source linker. So I kind of wanted you to look at this for a minute, kind of look at that. And then we're going to go to the new source linker. So, and I really like this. They've really cleaned it up. They've also said that it works better since they've, they've made some changes. And if you decide you don't like the new one, you can always go back to the old one. So I wanted to show you here on the left-hand side, this is the United States 1910 Census. You can view the record, which is where I was at last time, and you can always view the image, which I love to do because you're going to find other goodies if you view the image. Because when they do indexing, they don't get everything off of the um, census, just the essential things. And so I love looking at the other information on that. But anyway, right now it shows me on the census that we've got this E.B. James, this Flutie James, and then some children, and then some other people on the record down here. And that's why you would want to go look at the record because Edwin James is married to Pearl James. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more. So over on the right hand side is going to be the family tree the people from the family tree that are going to match up over here to the 1910 census. So if you look over here, it actually came up with this Edwin Bennett James, which is the one that I'm going to select because that is the person that I was looking at. So I was excited to find him in the 1910. I'd love to find ancestors in every single census that you can. So first off, here it is again. So now I've got the family tree from Family Search on the right hand side. And then the source linker tries to match up the individuals from the um, census over to the family tree. And I love, I love this. One thing that's different is you will see there is this compare and it's purple. So it kind of, I, it shows up a little bit better than it did on the old one. And so when you want to compare, you just click on this compare button. And then a couple of things here are new as well. They didn't really used to have the marital status and the race. And now you can just click here and add those to your ancestors. I'll just go ahead and add these on here. And then it also is his residence. And so, like I said, I love having all the residences on there. And then it also shows that there's three tags that are automatically added. And let's just see what that shows. It shows that the name, sex, and the birth. The birth doesn't give you the whole birth year. It just gives you how old they were, were on the census. So it's going to give you an about. And then another thing you can do is add it to the source box. We're not going to go over the source box, but it's a place that you can save all your sources on family, on family search. And then you can go ahead and just attach them. Or you can also put not a match if you don't think that's a match. So I'm going to go ahead and just attach that just so you see how that goes. Oh, actually, I wanted to do something else, but we'll do it on the next person. And it shows you that the record has been attached. So let me open up his wife really quick because I did miss something that's, that's new that is amazing. It's so nice that this happened, that they added this. So what's really nice is over here, there is a little pencil over on the name and on the birth. And I believe it'll be on the death as well if there's a change, if, if you're looking at a death record or something. But anyway, you can actually edit the name now. And that was something that you couldn't do on the old source linker. So now you can just click on that. I'm not going to finish that, but you can click on that and that's going to bring up her name. And now I could actually just change it right there which is amazing. I'm really glad that they changed that and added that feature. Okay, so as I said, um, and this one you could do also on the 
Well, let's go ahead and add this really quick. Um, you can add it, you can also undo it. We're just gonna add the residence. And then what I like to say is that this would, you know, the reason to attach is it, sh um, it shows the family relationships and where they were living in 1910. I'm not sure why that's not coming up. So maybe there's a bug there. So, but we'll just go ahead and attach that. Or I think something did happen. So I need to, um, one thing that they would like you to do is go ahead and click on this feedback button because maybe there's there's something that isn't working right. Maybe I just found it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh it really quick so that I can finish that and make sure that that's gonna work. Okay, so anyway, now this shows too that these are attached. I love that. This is like so a little bit brighter and easier to see that those are attached. Okay, one other thing, a couple other things I wanted to show you too is that you can actually click on changing the person. So this is really important because like I said, Edwin, and I would finish these, but I'm not going to for this demonstration. Edwin is actually a son and his wife is Pearl. So we're going to go ahead and change the person. We want to focus on Edwin. So let me show you what happens when I, I click him to be the the focus person is what it's called. But that's just how you would change the person. As you can see, now Edwin comes up with his wife, and now I can compare those and add, um, add these as well. And what's really nice is that when you add these and compare them and attach it, it's gonna be on all of the people sources. Anybody that you attach, you can go to their sources and see that this one is attached. And it shows that they're in the 1910 census. Another, a couple of other things you can actually, if you're not used to the source linker, you can actually open this up and this will show Edwin's parents. Um, this you can close. This is one of um, Edwin's children and you can open that and see that person. And she was born in 1914, so she wouldn't be on the 1910 census. But anyway, I just wanted to show you those opening and closing. There's siblings for him that you can open. So just know that that's available. And another thing, and this is also a new feature, is you can actually click on a person any person and then I love this because what happens is it pops out to the right and you can actually go to their person page you can go to their tree you can also add information you can add christening or anything there that says add and all you do is click on it and it comes up and you can add all that information to that person right there so I love that okay last thing is that you can, there's these little tips and resources. So I just wanted to go to just show you that really quick. And this just comes up. It tells you welcome to Source Linker and then some other information, the information that I went over. And you can just go through those pages and look at that. And then the last thing, and I think I mentioned this already, go ahead, there's a little feedback button over on the left-hand side. Go ahead and give your feedback. If there's something that you find that maybe didn't work, like I kind of got stuck on that one, go ahead and give feedback to them. They love it, and um, it really helps them on making decisions as well. So anyway, check this out. I, I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments because I always, I use this so much. I'll sometimes won't be able to find a census record on family search. And if I go find it on another website, I'll come back and put in, you know, edit the search so that it will find it. And then I can do this source linker because it's amazing. So anyway, I hope you are having a great day and good luck in all of your genealogy endeavors.